some of the mess is mine. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll help George tidy, and Mummy Pig can help Peppa. We can have a race. Girls against boys. Good idea. Let's see who can tidy up first. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> We're winning. No, you're not. <laughs> there. Oh, what's this? Teddy, I've been looking for you. Quick, Peppa, put Teddy in your toy basket. <laughs> there. Now these books. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> What do we have here? Dinosaur! That's right! It's a dinosaur book. It's George's pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> That's right! Oh, this is a Brontosaurus. Brontosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> yes! And this is a Triceratops. Triceratops. <laughs> well done, George. <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. Daddy! George, you've stopped tidying up. You'll lose the race. <laughs> oh, yes, the race. Come on, George, put this back on the bookshelf. <laughs> Daddy, you're very slow at tidying up. Mummy and I are going to win. No, we're going to win. <laughs> we win. No, we win. <laughs> <laughs> What's a fruit smoothie? It's a drink made from fruit. Would you like one? Yes, please. Can I have a smoothie with apples? OK, but smoothies can have lots of different fruit in them. OK, apples, raspberries, bananas and more apples. An apple, raspberry, banana and more apples smoothie. <laughs> Mmm, delicious. Can I have a smoothie, please? Me too. And me. And me. Of course. What fruit would you like in your smoothies? Uh, I don't know. It can be anything, Pedro. OK. Cheese, please. <laughs> Pedro, cheese isn't a fruit. It has to be fruit or vegetables. OK. Raspberries and blueberries and blackberries and gooseberries. That's more like it. Raspberry and blueberry and blackberry and gooseberry smoothies for everyone. <laughs> Lovely. What do you want in your smoothie, George? Strawberry. George, a smoothie must have lots of fruit in it. How about strawberries and pineapple, George? No. Maybe George would like some dinosaur juice. Dinosaur juice? Oh, yes. All dinosaurs like dinosaur juice. <laughs> dinosaur. Let's see. A bit of this, one of those, a few of these, oh, some of that. One dinosaur juice, just for dinosaurs and their little friends. <laughs> dinosaur. Can I have some dinosaur juice, please, Miss Rabbit? Me <laughs> Madame Gazelle is the ski teacher. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, will we ski all the way down the mountain? Oh, oh, not today, Danny. I think for now we will stick to the baby slope. The children are learning to ski on a little slope. To start, push off slowly with your sticks. Whee! To stop, point your skis together. <laughs> <laughs> Skiing is fun. Let's go back up and do it again. Whoa! Whoa! Walking up slopes on skis is not easy. Uh -huh. To go up the slope, you have to walk sideways like a crab. <laughs> Everyone is walking sideways like a crab. Madam Gazelle, can we see you ski now? 
Oh, I don't know. Please. Very well. Hoopla. That was amazing. Yes, I was the world champion at skiing and won this cup. Ooh. Now, which mummy or daddy would like a go? Why not? Are you sure, Mummy Pig? You haven't skied for years. It's just like riding a bike, Daddy Pig. You never forget. Here is the baby slope, Mummy Pig. <coughs> I think I'm a bit grown up for the baby slope. Which way does this go? Ah! All the way down the mountain. My mummy is skiing down the mountain. Ah! Where are the brakes? Oh, she can't stop. We have to catch up with her. Ah! Stand back! Mummy Pig is skiing along the road. Yeah! Everyone is in the coach, chasing after Mummy Pig. Wow! My mummy is skiing super fast! Can I help? <laughs> George wants to help too. OK, George. Could you put a blob of mortar here? <laughs> Looks like squelchy mud. Mortar is a very special kind of mud that sticks bricks together. <gasps> Pepper, would you like to lay the first brick? Yes, please. Well done. I'll do the rest. Bricks must be laid straight and level. See? Line after line. That will take ages. Yes. Will you finish it today? Oh, no. You can't build a house in a day. It'll be finished tomorrow. Good. See you tomorrow, Mr Bull. Bye-bye. Bye. George put the sticky mud down and I put the brick on top. Mm. That all sounds very exciting. Now, close your eyes and go to sleep. <laughs> it is morning. Pepper and George cannot wait to see the new house. It's finished! <laughs> Almost finished. It just needs to be inspected. Mr Rabbit is the building inspector. Hmm. Very good. But wait, it's not finished. What? You forgot the swing. Moo! Oh, no, we didn't. <laughs> Thank you, Mr Bull. Now it's all ready for our new neighbours to move in. Neighbours? Yes, Pepper. We've got new neighbours. <coughs> Mr Wolf and his family are moving into their new home. Oh, look. Little piggies. <coughs> Any bags? Yes. I'm afraid this one's a bit heavy. Don't worry. Just pop it on the scales. <laughs> Anything valuable in it? No. Any more? Yes. <laughs> you can take those little bags on the plane with you. Just join the queue over there. This is the X-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh. Put your bags on here, please. Look, it's my bag with Teddy inside. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's magic. This is the aeroplane that will take Pepper and her family on holiday. Airplane! Yeah! George loves aeroplanes. Welcome aboard. We hope you enjoy your flight with us today. Can I sit next to the window? <laughs> of course, Pepper. <laughs> yes, George, you can sit next to a window too. <laughs> this is Captain Emergency speaking. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Emergency. Emergency! Then let's go! Teddy, they're flying. What can you see out of the window, Pepper? It's all cloudy and rainy. Ooh, now it's sunny. 
That's because we're on top of the clouds. The plane is flying higher and higher. Oh, are we flying up to the sun? No, but we are going somewhere sunny. You and Susie have always been best friends. <laughs> in the olden days, did Susie and me jump up and down in muddy puddles? No, Pepper. You were babies. You couldn't even walk. Oh, what did we do? <laughs> you cried. <laughs> you burped. <laughs> And you laughed. <laughs> we were babies. Baby Susie. Baby Papa. <laughs> <laughs> goo goo gaga, goo goo gaga. <laughs> Soon after that, you were toddlers. <laughs> <laughs> and where was George? He was a baby in my tummy. <laughs> yes, you were in my tummy, George. You've got a big tummy, Daddy. Is there a baby in there? Oh, oh no, Pepper. This tummy is pure muscle. <laughs> <laughs> and so George was born. <laughs> and Granny and Grandpa gave George a very special present. Can you guess what it was? Mr Dinosaur! That's right. <laughs> And you and Susie were running and jumping around. <laughs> then one day you saw something amazing. Muggy Puggle! <laughs> Pepper, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> you loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. I still do! <laughs> Let's take a photo now. We need to think of a name for the baby. Yes, if the baby is a girl, she'll be called Rachel Rabbit. Or how about Ruth Rabbit? Roxanne Rabbit. Sharon Rabbit. I don't think so, Pedro. Sharon Rabbit sounds wrong. I like Rosie. Rosie Rabbit. <laughs> it's perfect. But what if the baby is a boy? Oh. How about Rufus Rabbit? Raymond Rabbit. Michael Rabbit. Michael, Michael Rabbit? Rabbit? No. Robbie Rabbit. Yes, Robbie Rabbit. Thank you for the potatoes with jelly, cheese and strawberry jam, Mummy Pig. My pleasure. We thought of a name for the baby. Rosie if it's a girl and Robbie if it's a boy. They're lovely names. It's sad that the baby can't have both names. Oh, my tummy. It's all that funny food you've been eating. I don't think so, Daddy Rabbit. The baby is coming! Right! To the hospital! Quickly now! Don't panic! Bye! Bye! Good luck! Did you pack everything on the list? I've got it all! Pillows, scented candles, yoga music and enough food for three days! <laughs> Don't panic! Don't panic! Anyone in? We are having a rabbit! Hello, sister! What are you doing here? I'm having a baby, remember? Oh, yes. You better come inside then. Can I come too? Moo! You'll have to park the car first. Don't worry. Having a baby always takes a long time. Out of the way, everyone! My sister's having a baby! A kettle and plenty of towels. Pull it out and throw it in this bucket. There's no room for weeds in my tidy garden. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is very proud of his garden. Maybe there is room to grow a little strawberry here. In the middle of my carrots? No, Pepper. Strawberries belong with a fruit. 
Everything has its place. Isn't that right, Granny Pig? Yes, Grandpa. Can we find a little place for this? Uh, no. What is it, Granny? It's a plastic gnome, Pepper. And he's going to live in our garden. Oh, no, he isn't. There's no room. There's plenty of room. What about here? I can't have that ugly thing looking at me all day. Pepper, George, do you think my gnome looks ugly? No, Granny. I think he looks cute. <laughs> There, Grandpa. You're outnumbered. The gnome stays. Ah! And here come the rest of them. What? Mr Bull is bringing Mr Gnome a truckload of new friends. Yippee! But gardens are for plants, not plastic. Moo! Where do you want the gnomes? We don't want gnomes, thank you. Oh! Goodbye. No! Naughty Grandpa Pig. Those are Granny Pig's gnomes. Oh, it appears we do want gnomes. Okie dokie! They're lovely! There's this as well. Cheerio! Thank you, Mr. Ball. Goodbye. Bye bye. What's this? A giant gnome? No, Grandpa. It's a well. What is a well? A well, Pepper, is a very deep hole with water in it. Ooh. And as it happens, I do need water for my garden, so a well will be useful. You can be the ringmaster, Pepper. You've got the hat for it. What's a ringmaster? The ringmaster is the boss. Yes! I'll be the ringmaster! <laughs> What do I do? You say, welcome to my circus. See the impossible, the amazing, the incredible feats of daring do. Ooh. Uh, welcome to my circus. It's got amazing feet. <laughs> <laughs> Moo! Granny Pig's garden party guests are here. Hello, everyone. You're in for a treat. The circus has come to town. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my circus. Now, please be very scared of the amazing Candy Cat. <laughs> I was a strong man once. I used to lift tractors. <sighs> See, Emily Elephant juggle potatoes and an egg. <laughs> oh. Now laugh a lot at Pedro Pony. He's a clown. <laughs> Stop laughing. I haven't done the funny bit yet. Ah! ah. That was the funny bit. <laughs> That's what I call funny. Thank you. That is the end of my amazingly impossible circus. Hooray! That is the best circus I have ever seen. What are you making? This is our desert island. With roads and houses. And shops. And trees. There. We will live here forever. Again. It would be really good if we had a lake. Yes, a lake. <coughs> One lake. But it needs water to be a proper lake. Oh, where are we going to get water from? We must fly around the world in aeroplanes. Pepper and her friends are pretending to fly around the world, looking for water. Pedro Pony is playing on the roundabout. Hello, everyone. Hello, Pedro. We've got a desert island with houses. And roads. Shops. Trees. And a lake. But we need water for the lake. Have you got some, please? 
I don't know what you're talking about. It's just pretend. We're playing a game. Oh, I see. You want pretend water. Yes. Hmm, I know where there's pretend snow. We can melt it to get pretend water. Where? On the mountain top. That's a slide. It's a pretend mountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's the matter, Pedro? Because it is a hot day, the snow has melted. Can't we pretend it hasn't melted? No, it's melted good and proper. Oh. oh. But look, over there, real water. Daddy Pig is drinking from the water fountain. Water! <laughs> Daddy, can we have some water in our bucket, please? We're making a lake. Oh, oh of course. <laughs> We've got water. Nice water. Have you all been good? Yes. Have you all kept your bedrooms tidy? Yes. Have you? Oh, 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 of course. Now, come and tell me what you'd like for Christmas. Can I have a football, please? A xylophone. Tiddlywinks. A magic set, please. Racing car. <laughs> Bouncy ball. Boing, boing. A twain, please. A toy train. Not a toy train. A real train. One I can drive with real passengers. Oh, I'll see what I can do. Is that everyone? We haven't seen you yet. I am sorry. What is your name? I'm Peppa Pig. We've met before. Ah, yes. Nice to see you again, Peppa. What would you like for Christmas? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Please. Um, the same for me, please. Very good. You do know where I live, don't you? Oh, yes. How old are you? Oh, I'm hundreds of years old. I told you. <laughs> Goodbye, Father <laughs> Christmas. Don't forget to leave me a mince pie and... And a drink. We know. And a carrot for the reindeer. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Peppa and her family are driving back from the Christmas fair. Daddy, why have we got our bags in the car? We're spending Christmas at Granny and Grandpa's house. But Father Christmas won't know where we are. Don't worry, Peppa. Father Christmas knows everything. Granny Pig, it's nearly Christmas. Yes, and I've got a very important job for you. Stir the Christmas pudding and make a wish. Is this one of your important papers? Yes, that's one of them. Is this one of your important papers, Daddy? Yes. Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> uh, why are we at the duck pond? <laughs> oh, I see. Thank you, Mrs. Duck. <laughs> the only paper I'm missing now is a big blueprint. Hmm. Is it big and blue? Like the aeroplane you flew a long way away, Daddy. Oh, um... The one that we said bye-bye to? Yes. Maybe I should ring the office. This is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, Daddy Pig. Did you find the papers? I found some of them. The only one we need is the big blueprint. That might be a problem. Daddy threw it away. Threw it away? And it flew and flew forever. Ah, it's here. It just landed on my desk. Eh? What a great idea to make it into a paper aeroplane and throw it to us. Oh, yes. Well, I am a bit of an expert at throwing things. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Now the blueprint is delivered, Daddy Pig can take the rest of the day off work. Ah, that's nice. Daddy, we need your newspaper. 
What for? Making paper aeroplanes. <laughs> 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 Polly had a dolly who was... <coughs> oh, dear. All the grown-ups have caught Pedro's cough. Dr Brown Bear speaking. This is Peppa Pig. All the grown-ups are ill. Not to worry, Peppa. I'm on my way. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Caught Pedro's cough, have we? <coughs> Very well. Stand in line and open wide. Uh. Oh. Oh. It tastes like custard and old socks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for looking after us, Dr Brown Bear. Who looks after you when you're ill? No one looks after me. I'm never ill. <coughs> <coughs> oh, dear. Dr Brown Bear has caught Pedro's cough. Not to worry. <coughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Poor Dr Brown Bear. He's ill and there's no one to look after him. Oh. <coughs> Who can that be? Hello. We've come to look after you. Here's some fruit. <laughs> and some cushions. And here is your medicine. Yeah. It tastes like jammy yoghurt flavoured custard socks. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a song to make you feel better. <laughs> well, maybe you could help him. Yes, I'm very good. I will show him how to paint a flower. George, today I'm going to teach you how to paint a flower. First, you paint a big circle. No, George, that's the wrong colour. Now you paint the flower's petals. George! That's the wrong shape. <coughs> now you paint the stalk of the leaves. <coughs> Perfect. <coughs> George, you have done it all wrong. Now what do we have here? <coughs> I've painted a flower. That's very good, Pepper. And George has painted a dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I think George and Peppa's pictures should go on the wall. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa, you must be very proud of your little brother. Yes, I am. It is home time, and the children's parents are here to pick them up. Can George come next time? Yes, and he can paint us another lovely picture. And what will you paint next time, George? Dinosaur. Grrr. Oh, another dinosaur picture? Well, maybe you can show us all how to paint a dinosaur. Brilliant. Yes, brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> what are they doing? Daddy, we can see you. <laughs> Daddy Pig has to mend the wall before Mummy Pig comes home. Brick, please. <laughs> First, Daddy Pig fills the hole with bricks. There. <laughs> Next, Daddy Pig puts plaster over the bricks. 
<laughs> Easy as pie. Then Daddy Pig paints the wall. <laughs> Good as new. The wall is mended. Hooray! <laughs> but look at all the mess they have made. Goodness me. We'd better clean up before Mummy comes back. First, Daddy Pig quickly washes Pepper and George. Then Pepper vacuums the floor. And Daddy Pig tidies up the tools. <gasps> Mummy! Mummy Pig is home. Mummy! <gasps> Mummy's here! Quick, pretend nothing has happened. Hello. Hello. <laughs> What have you been doing? Oh, nothing. <laughs> yes, I can see you've been doing nothing. I thought you were going to put the picture up. In all the excitement, Daddy Pig has forgotten to put the picture up. Oh. Well, I'm no expert, but I'm sure it's quite easy. There. Hmm. Yes, that did look quite easy. But when you did it, Daddy, it looked really hard. Shush, Pepper, don't tell anyone. <laughs> Today I'm going to make apple and blackberry crumble. Yummy! I need you brave explorers to go and get the fruit. Aye, aye, aye Granny Pig. Pig! We've got baskets for the apples. And buckets for the blackberries. First, the easy bit, picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. One, One two, three! three. <laughs> now for the blackberries. Why don't we just have apple crumble? Because blackberries are tasty too, Grandpa. OK, now the hard bit. Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa, it's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. Mm. Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Clever, Grandpa! But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I've brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no. I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush. <laughs> See him, boys and girls. Shout out, there's little Sprout. There's little Sprout. That's it. When you see him, shout like that. There he is. He's behind you. Where? There. Behind you. I can't see him. They're not very good at looking, are they? <laughs> There you are, you cheeky little sprout. I'm the magic fairy carrot. Look, children, I can fly. There's a string lifting her up. I can grant you one wish. What do you wish for? I wish we had a Christmas tree. Your wish is my command. Ooh. Now we can sing our Christmas song. Would you like to hear it, boys and girls? Yes! 
Sweet little spot on the Christmas tree. Potatoes, carrots, and cranberry. It's, it's a very special, special Christmas with all our friends. Well, the magic of vegetables, of vegetables never ends. ends. So that's the end. Goodbye, children. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, everybody. That was a bit quick. Wait, there's one more surprise. A very important person has come to see you all. Ho, ho, ho. Can you guess who it is? Ho, ho, ho. It's the Queen. It's Father Christmas. Hooray! Hello, children. Have you all been good? Yes. Have you all been cleaning your teeth? Yes! Have you kept your bedrooms tidy? Um... Jolly good! Ho, ho, ho! Peppa, would you like to help feed Alexander? Yes, please. It is lunchtime for baby Alexander. Cousin Peppa? is going to feed you today, Alexander. Here you are, baby. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Oh, he keeps turning his head. Yeah. Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Alexander likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Pepper. Here comes the aeroplane. Open your mouth and in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> that was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Pepper, do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. <laughs> I thought Peppa's first word was Daddy. No, Mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander is having a bath. <laughs> this is Mr. Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Peppa. <sniffs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. <sniffs> I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. <laughs> That's a clever little buggy. <sighs> OK, I'll do a bit more story. Baby Bear said there is a box of golden treasure at the end of the world. But it's too far for me to go because I'm too little. Georgie said, I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas. And are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world and found a big box of golden treasure. Ooh. And a big dragon. Grrr. Yes, a big green dragon with little wings and breathing fire. Roar! Luckily, it was a very friendly dragon. And he said, you can have the treasure. But then Georgie Pig began to shrink. He shrank and he shrank and he shrunk until he was the same little Georgie Pig as he was before. How will we get back home now? said Baby Bear. I can fly you home, said the dragon. So Georgie Pig and Baby Bear hopped on the dragon's back and flew all the way back home. 
to the little house in the forest. And then it's the end. George is asleep. Pepper is asleep. Pepper, what are you doing out of bed? Night time is for sleeping, not playing. Night night, my little piggies. Sweet dreams. Eat up, Goldie. You've got a big day tomorrow. I will polish your bowl. <laughs> Lovely. Pedro is talking to his stick insect. A stick insect is an insect that looks like a stick. Tomorrow, you will come with me to playgroup. They will decide who is the best pet. And it will be you. Edmund Elephant is talking to his gecko. Watch me. <coughs> now you do it. <coughs> Zoe Zebra is talking to her monkey. Are you excited about the competition, monkey? <coughs> Remember to be good tomorrow. Don't be a cheeky monkey. <laughs> it is the day of the pet competition. <coughs> Madam Gazelle? Who is going to decide which pet is the best? Dr Hamster. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Oh, what lovely pets you've got. That's a happy little fish. What's its name? It's Goldie. You've met her before. She's got a very shiny bowl. <laughs> what does Goldie like doing? She likes swimming around and going like this. Wonderful. And who is this? This is my stick insect. What's his name? Stephen. What does he do? He looks like a stick. Amazing. Oh, what kind of animal is this? It is a gecko. Does he have a name? Hemidactylus frenatus. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Right. And what does he do? This. <coughs> oh, who's next? Ooh, 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 monkey. Is he meant to be upside down? Yes, he's asleep. <coughs> Can me and George buy them a present too? That's very sweet of you, Peppa. But presents can cost a lot of money. We've got money in our piggy bank. Peppa and George have one penny and two buttons to spend. OK, let's go shopping. This is Mr Fox's shop. Hello there. Can I help you? It's Granny and Grandpa Pig's wedding anniversary. They're both very old and need a present. My shop has everything. Oh, I'm sure you'll find something you like. A big teddy. I love it. This can be the present. Peppa, the present is not for you. It's for Granny and Grandpa. Oh, yes. Oh, look. Funny teeth. They're wind-up joke teeth. Very popular. <laughs> <laughs> can they be the present for Granny and Grandpa? I think Granny and Grandpa have all the teeth they need, Peppa. Do your Granny and Grandpa like gardening and digging? Yes. Then why not get them a bucket and spade each? Buy one, get one free. They've already got spades and buckets and forks and everything. Oh, dear. I know. Grandpa likes sailing his boat. Say no more. I have everything a sailor could ever wish for. Do you have pirate's treasure? Uh, everything except pirate's treasure. Oh. Do Granny and Grandpa like antiques? What does antique mean? Antique means old and rare. Usually, yes. But my antiques are brand new. That chair comes in a set of 12. Nice, isn't it? Is it made of oak? Yes, it's made of plastic oak. Is it comfortable? You mustn't sit on it. Antique chairs are not for sitting on. So, what do you do with them? You look at them. Can George and me come too? Please? 
Okay, just this once. Put your coats and boots on. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their coats and boots over their pyjamas. You carry the bucket, Pepper, and I'll hold the torch. Don't stay out too late, Grandpa Pig. Okay, okay Granny Pig. Pig. <laughs> we'll put all the slugs and snails in the bucket. Ah, one little snail. Two little snails. <laughs> and a slug. Ugh. Slugs are yucky. <laughs> Here are Grandpa Pig's chickens. Sarah, Jemima, Vanessa and Neville. Hello, chickens. I need to put the chickens to bed. Night-night, chickens. Night-night, chickens. Night-night. Why aren't the slugs and snails in bed, Grandpa? Because they're up all night eating my vegetables. Some animals eat in the daytime, like my chickens, and some animals eat at night, like, oh, Mr Fox. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Putting your chickens to bed, are you? Oh, yes. Nice and cosy in the hen house. Jolly good. Well, I'll be on my way. Good night. Good, good night. night. Now, as I was saying, some animals eat at night, like... <laughs> oh, hello. Grandpa, there's a little animal in your bucket. Ha-ha, <laughs> yes. It's a hedgehog. They like to eat slugs and snails. Hello, hedgehog. <laughs> oh, he's rolled into a ball. Yes, Peppa. He is very shy. Come out, Mr Hedgehog. Don't be scared. I... Grandpa, Grandpa! I want to plant a seed. Would you like to plant a strawberry seed? Yes, please. This seed will grow into a lovely strawberry plant. First, make a little hole. Then I put the seed in and cover it with earth. Shall I water it for you? No, no. I want to water it. Good. Now we wait for it to grow. Pepper and George are waiting for the seed to grow. It's not doing anything. <laughs> You'll have to be patient, Pepper. It will take a long time to grow. Pepper, George, it's time to go home. But we're waiting for my strawberry plant to grow. <coughs> I want strawberries for tea. Don't worry, Peppa. <coughs> Next time you come, the seed will have grown into a plant. <coughs> I will have strawberries. Yes. <coughs> come on, Peppa. Bye-bye, Grandpa. Bye-bye, strawberry. <coughs> <coughs> Grandpa Pig looks after Peppa's strawberry plant. After many days, Grandpa Pig finds a tiny plant growing. Day by day, the plant grows bigger and bigger. Then one day, Grandpa Pig finds something very special. Strawberries! Grandpa, we're back! Peppa and George have come to play again. Grandpa, Grandpa, did my plant grow? Yes! Look! Ooh! Strawberries! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> Grandpa, can we plant something else? Today is a day for pancakes. Pancakes? Delicious! <laughs> I love pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves pancakes. I'm the expert at flipping the pancakes over. Leave that to me. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? Last time you got a bit grumpy when you dropped the pancake on the floor. I did not get grumpy. There was a problem with the frying pan. <laughs> 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 Mummy, can we help make the pancakes, please? <laughs> yes, you can help me make the batter. <laughs> First, I put some flour in the bowl. Now I add an egg. 
Now the milk. And I give it all a stir. Mummy, can I stir? Yes, of course, Peppa. Peppa loves stirring. George wants to stir as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, George, like this. <laughs> OK, that's enough stirring. You two sit at the table while I cook the pancakes. Mummy Pig is going to flip the pancake over. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> you could flip it higher, Mummy Pig. You can show us how when you flip your own pancake, Daddy Pig. This first pancake is for George. Mummy Pig pours a little syrup on George's pancake. Delicious. This pancake is for Pepper. Hooray! <laughs> mm, you could flip it higher, Mummy Pig. You will get a chance to show me when you flip your own pancake, Daddy Pig. Syrup, please. <laughs> Granny Pig has made pizza for lunch. And here's some salad. Made with grandpa's tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Chuck in, everyone. <laughs> George has eaten his pizza, but George does not like the tomatoes or the lettuce or the cucumber. Oh, dear, George. Don't you like the salad? No. George. Just try a little bit of this lovely tomato. Yuck! George, this is cucumber. Grandpa Pig grew it in his garden. Yeah. Try a piece of lettuce, George. It's yummy. <coughs> oh, now, now, George. <laughs> Look what I'm doing. <laughs> Now it's a dinosaur. A dinosaur. <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. George is eating the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Well done, George. Would you like some more, George? Full. George, are you too full to eat any more tomatoes, lettuce or cucumber? George is too full to eat any more. George, are you too full to eat anything more? <coughs> George is too full to eat anything more. Oh, well. Then you won't want any of this chocolate cake. Chocolate cake! <coughs> <coughs> My word! George seems to have got his appetite back. <laughs> <laughs> And remember to send me your drawings. We will! <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we will do drawings for Mr. Potato. Hooray! I'm drawing a pineapple. I'm drawing a carrot. Very good. What are you drawing, Emily? A pea. Lovely. And Pedro? It's a super potato. Oh, I see. And George has drawn a wonderful tomato. <laughs> Peppa, what vegetable have you drawn? My daddy watching television. Oh, excellent. Now, we put the drawings in an envelope and post them to Mr Potato. It is morning and time for the Mr. Potato Show. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! We posted some drawings to Mr. Potato in an envelope. Did you get the envelope? He can't hear you, Daddy. He's on television. Oh, yes, of course. I've received an envelope full of drawings. This tomato looks very juicy. That's George's picture. <laughs> <laughs> well done, George. But this picture from Peppa Pig is my favourite. 
Wow! That's my picture! It shows Daddy Pig watching TV. Mmm. Looks like Daddy Pig needs some exercise. Hey, What? Come on, Daddy Pig. Let's do some jumping up and down. Oh, all right. Up, down, up, down. <laughs> Daddy Pig down. likes jumping up and down. 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 Everyone down. likes jumping up and down. 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 Oh, a computer. What does it do? You can do letters with it. Look, Granny. A, B, C, D. And numbers. One, two, three. I'm afraid we might break it by pressing the wrong button. <laughs> don't worry, you can't break it. Just don't feed it milk or biscuits or jelly. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing it does is Happy Mrs Chicken. <laughs> When you press this button, she lays an egg. I am very good at it, but George is the best. <laughs> That's fun! Uh, perhaps we uh, should keep the computer, Granny Pig. Goodbye! Bye-bye! Uh, shall we do some work on the computer, Granny Pig? Yes. Let's do some numbers and letters. Peppa and her family are having lunch. I've given my old computer to Granny and Grandpa. That's nice. I wonder how they're getting on with it. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. Ah, uh, Peppa, I need to ask a question about the computer. It's Grandpa. He's broken the computer. What's the problem with the computer, Grandpa Pig? It's full of eggs. Eggs? Happy Mrs Chicken won't lay any more eggs. I'm broken. Turn the computer off. Now turn it back on again. Did that fix it? I am very broken. That doesn't sound good. Maybe it can't be mended. We'll come round and pick it up. Granny, we're here to take the computer back. Oh! Grandpa Pig has taken it to his shed. <laughs> Miss Rabbit, please come to my palace to get a medal for all your hard work. Bring friends, all the best, the Queen. Ooh. Miss Rabbit has fainted. I can't visit the Queen. I've got too much work to do. Relax. No one will be working that day. The Queen has made it a holiday. Hooray! <laughs> it is the day Miss Rabbit visits the Queen. Pepper and her friends are going too. We're off to see. This is the Queen's Palace. Hello? Is anybody there? Look at all that fancy stuff. Don't touch anything. Oops! What a big house! Lots of room for a queen to kick a ball about. Where is the queen? Queen! Queen! Where are you? Hello. Have you seen the Queen today? She's an old lady with a crown on her head. I am the Queen. Miss Rabbit has fainted again. Hello, Mrs Queen. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing a crown? I don't wear it much because it's very heavy. Are you the boss of all the world? Not quite. Do you tell people what to do? Sometimes. Can you make teachers disappear? Oh, so many questions. The children are very excited to meet you, Your Majesty. I'm excited to meet all of you. And now for Miss Rabbit's medal. Ooh. This is the Queen's Award for Industry. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Three cheers for Miss Rabbit. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip, hip! Hooray! 
mind. Let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? Dinosaur. George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a funny kind of fish called a seahorse. You know lots about fish. Yes, I like fish. <laughs> Can the seahorse be Goldie's friend? Uh, no. It's too dinosaur-y. One more room to go. Oh, what's in this tank? Nothing. It's just green slime. Look. That green slime is algae. There must be some sort of fish in here. Whoa! There's a fish with big, long ears. It's a rabbit fish. It is Miss Rabbit, wearing a diving costume. Ooh. She is cleaning the fish tank. <coughs> Miss Rabbit is saying hello. <coughs> it is difficult to talk underwater. <laughs> hello, Miss Rabbit! That was the last fish tank. We haven't found a friend for Goldie. What's in the next room? This is the aquarium cafe. Oh, goody. My favourite room. Hello, Peppa. Did you find a friend for Goldie? No. Oh, who's that? That's just Ginger, my pet goldfish. He loves the aquarium. Ho, oh, oh. ho. It looks like Goldie's found a friend after all. Goldie isn't lonely anymore. Hooray! And Goldie can visit Ginger anytime she wants. <laughs> Split into two teams. Boys against girls. <laughs> the girls are in one team. The boys are in the other. That's not fair. We've got little ones on our team. Don't worry. The boys' team will still win. Yeah, we're a super team. <whistles> ah. Emily Elephant is very good at reaching high with her trunk. Emily's using her trunk. It's not fair. Shush, Peppa. She's on our side. Oh, yes, that is fair. <laughs> it's not fair. We want Emily on our team. No, she's in our team. Stop arguing. You can all be in the same team. OK. <laughs> the children are all in one big team. Oh, but who will we play? Um, well... Hello. <laughs> the parents have come to take the children home. I know. You can play the grown-ups. But they are bigger than us. Ah, but you've been taught basketball by Daddy Coach. Yes. Let's play them. We're the children's team. Yay! We're the grown-ups team. All right! I'm quite good at cricket. Yes. Well, this is basketball. You throw the ball through the hoop. But you can only use your hands. Or your trunk. But not your feet. Ready, steady, go! Mr Elephant has the ball. Tackled by George. Pass to Zoe Zebra. To Richard Rabbit. And Pepper throws it through the hoop. Yippee! The children have won. To Daddy Coach. <laughs> 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 